What is up, Scar and I bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Version Episode 64, aka Finale Part 1. In this episode, we got ourselves a full team ready to take on the Elite Four of the Pokemon League of Evergrande City. C C whatever. Uh, Evergrande City, or I just always call it Evergrande City. We got Windy, Ninetoes, Lax Nature, Flash Fire, Fire Type, Charcoal. And quick attack, Willow Wisp, overheat, and flamethrower. I'm thinking I might have switched charcoal for a white herb in some occasions, so we'll see about that. We got Cartman, our starter Pokemon, Nighty, Nighty, Naughty Nature, Torrent Water, uh, Torrent that water, up. Uh, I can't talk today. Ups, water moves in a pinch, water ground type, Mystic Water, Surf, Meshot Dive, and Ice Beam. We got ourselves Electro, Jimmy, Static, Paralyzed on. On contact, sassy nature, electric type, magnet, roll out thunderbolt, light screen, shock wave. We got ourselves Timmy the Waba Fit, hardy nature, shadow tag, prevents foe from escaping, psychic type, shell bell, miracle, destiny bond, encore counter. And we also got ourselves Kenny, Skarmory, steel flying, keen eye, prevents loss of accuracy, lonely nature with a king's rock, air cutter, fly, steel wing, and toxic. And we got Garrison the Kecleon with the normal type and color change changes the type of foes of uh, depending on what moves serious nature quick club shadow ball strength brick break and iron tail still a little bit weary on that and those are all our pokemon all our pokemon's level 48 except for the fact that timmy's level 49 so i do have my notes out ready for this battle we got we're so prepared to go take on this beyond this point only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter Trainers, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. So let's go do this thing. So, we're gonna go up in the stairs. I wanna say the stairs of hope. To take on the first person. And the first person is right here. We're gonna go start off with Swampert in the front. And it, to be honest, we're going to be alternating between Wobbuffet and Kecleon because I try to put on everything where it's one on one on one on one. And uh, from all the Elite Force, because in this episode we're doing every single Elite Four member. Wobbuffet and T er, <laughs> Timmy and Garrison are the ones that are going to be switching on and off. Uh, alternating because I try to make it even out but it just keeps ending up being Timmy and Garrison but Timmy will participate Garrison will not just in case the Pokemon dies then Garrison will participate other than that let's go get started welcome challenger I'm Sydney of the Elite Four I like that look you're giving me I guess you'll give me a good match that's good looking real good all right you and me let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League so it's gonna be Stan versus Sydney, the member of the Elite Four. He is of the Dark type, and uh, in the Ruby and Sapphire, in every Elite Four member, there's some difference of some kind. Whether it's a move, whether it's a Pokemon, but we'll see here. So he's gonna intimidate us. That is why I sent Carmen out here. We're gonna just completely just keep on surfing him. Uh, Mighty Anna in the Ruby and Sapphire version. I'm looking at the wrong side. As the moves Crunch, Takedown, Sand Attack, and Roar. In the Emerald version, instead of Takedown, he has Double Edge. So he's probably gonna go heal off his Mighty Enna. We're pretty good leveled. I try to use Pokemon that I have reasonings for every pick that I have. Unless there's a type that I don't, I can't really cover. But uh, other than that, we're just gonna. Oh, he's gonna withdraw! I see your game here. He's gonna go into Cacturn. Alright, Cacturn has the moves Faint Attack, Needle, Iron, Con Spore and Leech Seed, and he's the only Pokemon that has no change. I'm gonna go switch because I'm quite effective. And the Pokemon that I wanted to go against Cacturn is definitely Windy. So you're gonna go try to switch on me, huh? Con Spore. Yeah, you con, uh, uh con picking Cactus. Got him. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go Flamethrower. You're gonna go Leech Seed me, but unfortunately for you, you're not gonna live this at all so we're gonna go take care of this guy if you go switch back out into mighty Anna, that's perfectly fine but that's it for cacturn uh swamper is still gonna gain experience from that but uh hopefully we could get this under a good 
time. Absol's next. That is his ace Pokemon. What are you doing? But this is why I want to show off Timmy. Because Timmy has not proven to you guys why he's in the team. Or why she's in the team. This is the reasoning why. So Absol is level 49. He is holding a Citrus Berry. Every ace Pokemon of the Elite Four, including the champion, has a Citrus Berry on him. So, no matter what. Whether you go for a Swords Dance slash Aerial Ace or a Snatch, which is Ruby Sapphire standards, instead of Snatch is Rock Slide, I'm gonna go for Counter. So you're gonna go for Rock Slide. As long as I don't flinch, I should be fine. So let's prove how much damage I could go take back on you. Boom, right there. So no matter what you do, Swords Dance slash Aerial Ace, this thing is dead. This thing is going down. So is you gonna use a Citrus Berry, that's fine. Let's go for another counter. It's gonna go Swords Dance, really does not matter. Even if you had Night Slash, I'm pretty sure I could take it. As long as you don't crit at least. Alright, well even if you crit this one, it should be fine. Whoa! Holy God! That's gonna do a lot of damage back to you. And that is it! Ah, oh, Timmy! 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 I wish it would have been like damage that you would have given. Oh god, that's just terrible HP back. Oh my lord. Okay, so Mighty Anna again. So it's kind of weird that, uh, you know, he kind of immediately used his ace. Because I like it when they save their ace for last. But unfortunately not. He's just got to go send in Mighty Anna. Uh, he could potentially switch out again. But I, I don't see a point really. Because you're gonna go down to this. That was an unnecessary crit, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So, Shiftry. That's the other Pokemon he could have switched into. Now, against Shiftry, I've chosen Kenny to go take this guy out. Uh, the reason I decided because there's Cactor and Shiftry, both are Grass Dark types, uh, I decided to, to uh, give. Uh, Kenny the opportunity because I forgot the reasoning. I think because you have extra sensory and I'm resistant on that, even though I'm quad resistant on Cacturn's moves, I'll have a better shot against this thing than I would with uh, with Nine Tails. So that's why I chose Skarmory for this guy. And plus, you know, it could be either or. It, it, they could take it out fine. I I believe in my team. You could go for Swagger. You're those type of people. But uh, yeah, Shiftry has Fake Out, Extra Sensory, Double Team, and Swagger in the Ruby and Sapphire version. Instead of Fake Out, he has, I believe, Torment. So we're gonna go take care of this. He's got Full Restore. He has yet another Full Restore. That's completely fine. Alright, I'm really, 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 really freaking hyped. This Primate thing is gonna go down. Freaking Primate. Oh, critical hit! Oh, that's another crit. Oh boy, man. Oh boy! Ha ha ha! Elite four members, you gotta use Crawdon. I don't know why. <laughs> Sydney! Uh, against Crawdon, it is definitely Jimmy, I believe. I, I, well, yeah, I, I think that's the only option left, right? Except for Garrison. Actually, in the Ruby and Sapphire version, he does not have a Crawdon. Instead, he has a Sharpedo, a Team Aqua counterpart. And that Sharpedo has Thunderbolt, Crunch, Slash, and Swagger. So, Crawdon has Surf, Swords and Strength, and Facade. It kind of makes you wonder if they actually use these HNs, but we completely destroyed them. I, will, I hope Timmy Proof is worth, but we destroyed Sydney without a problem. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Eh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You got what it takes to go far. Now go into the next room and enjoy your next battle. Alright, so let's go heal our Pokemon. Uh, let's go get to our items. That's only been like 10 minutes or so, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a full restore. My gosh, look how much lack of damage he didn't give me. Let me go downward. I'm pretty sure it's downward. I'm just gonna go for a full restore. Might as well, right? My gosh, we absolutely destroyed it! Ah, that was pretty good. That was pretty dang good. If I do say so myself. The next room, coming up! It's gotta be this girl, and her name is the Elite Four members known as Phoebe. I don't know why I just switched it around. Hang on, before I do that, I... I'm actually gonna go switch into Kecleon. 
Go take care of you. Ha <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I, while I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bind I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So, come on. Just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. <laughs> Stan versus Phoebe. And, uh, yeah, so... It starts to get a little bit confusing, only because they try to use Hoenn Pokemon and just that. So she's gonna start with the Dusclops. It's level 48. Uh, it has Curse, Confused Ray, Feature Sight, and Shadow Punch. And instead of Feature Sight in Emerald version, it's Protect. So I'm just gonna Shadow Ball this thing. The reason I chose Kecleon to go against this thing is because all the moves that it has can't hurt me, except for Curse. So that's why I'm just gonna keep on wailing this thing until it dies. That's the reason why I chose Garrison against this Pokemon. Wobbuffet unfortunately will not participate in this match because all these ghost Pokemon, even though they have ghost moves and I could just completely just counter it back, they have all these special moves as well. So that's the reasoning why. So it's gonna protect. And that's completely fine. I'm confused now though. Hey, it, it, it really doesn't matter if I get damage back as long as I hit you this time. Or if I hit myself. Now you're gonna protect again like a punk. Actually, now I think you just killed yourself, right? Please tell me you killed yourself. That looks like half damage to me. Yeah, it killed itself. Alright, that's kind of crucial, but I, I guess so, you know? But yeah, like I was trying to say, they usually uh, use, you know, just basic... Uh, just basic... Uh, Hoenn Pokemon, so they're using a Bannet. I'm gonna use Ninetales, I believe. I'm not sure about the move set, only because I'm not sure whether or not is the Pokemon that I'm thinking of. It's level 49, which does not help me, but it has the move Spite, Will O Wisp, Shadow Ball, Faint Attack, and instead of Spite in the Ruby and uh, in the Emerald version, rather, is Grudge. So I'm just gonna. I really want to overheat. I'm gonna have flamethrower instead. So the reason I chose Nine Tails is because it can't Will O Wisp me, and I have really good special defense. So uh, I still can't really tell the difference. You'll see what I mean when I get to it. So my special defense has dropped, but I should take it out with this flamethrower. I should. Keyword is should. All right, there we go. So Ben is down. Uh. Okay, so there's the second Dusclops. See, this is what I was trying to say. So, for the second Dusclops, I'm going to use Kenny, I believe. The reason being, I don't really have a reasoning. I, I don't want to put Wobbuffet against this thing. I kind of decided on this last because Dusclops right here is actually her ace Pokemon. Because she has two different Dusclops, but this is the main one. Uh, the moves are... Earthquake, Confuse Ray, Ice Beam, and Shadow Ball. But instead of. Wait a second. Uh. I believe instead of Confuse Ray, maybe? It's Rock Slide? I don't. I don't really remember. But you'll see it on the thing. I'm gonna just Toxic this thing, personally. That's another reason why I chose this thing. I don't know why I double checked everything. Oh, oh no no okay so yeah he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have confused ray it's because I checked it in the in the wrong side but it really doesn't matter but yeah I'm gonna toxic this thing and then he's gonna fly just so it can't really hurt me so that's my strategy for this guy even though he has ice beam he also has rock slide but he's choosing just to ice beam for whatever reason for what it's worth and it does hold a citrus berry as well so we're gonna go take this out no problem uh, it's most likely going to full restore as soon as it gets the opportunity to. Actually, the Citrus Berry should have kicked, so I don't know why. I'm going to Steel Wing, because I feel like you're going to heal yourself if if I don't. Because if I fly, you're probably going to do that. So, she hasn't used a full restore yet. As long... Oh, never mind. Citrus Berry's going to kick in. I forgot about that. Uh, Come on. Please, Poison. You got to do this for me. Or maybe not. I'm just gonna go Toxic again because I know she's gonna full restore. So, Toxic again. 
I'm probably gonna heal because I think it's like a 4k 4 KO for Dusclops to hurt me so yeah that's kind of the strategy I'm going for here so I'm just gonna use an outright full restore on you it'll help it'll benefit so ice beam all right you got an ice beam cool that's totally fine and uh yeah okay so uh wait 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 I'm just gonna go fly so I hope you don't use another forest store because Sydney used two forest stores so I'm assuming you have two as well I'm I'm assuming that that's the max you have is two forest stores uh ice beam okay I'm, I'm assuming that you are probably probably gonna live this in forest store just in case toxic oh, okay okay it, it seems like you're gonna just let it die then I swear to Bob, if you crit me or freeze me... Wow. <laughs> why did I say these things? Alright, so this is the second banner, so that's why I was kind of a little bit weary. We have to get Kenny out of here regardless, but uh, for the second banner or Bayonet, whatever you would like to pronounce it. I'm gonna use Cartman. And uh, Bayonet as the moves Toxic, Skill Swap, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. But in the Emerald version, instead of Skill Swap and Toxic, is uh, Facade and Thunderbolt, which is why I have Swamper out here, because he can't hit me with a... Uh... I didn't even give it Earthquake, are you serious? How did I forget? I forgot to give it Earthquake. Not that it matters, because... Well, then again, it's not that. It's pretty frail. But, uh, one more Surf should take it out. I need to give it Earthquake right after this battle. I really do. Alright. I'm gonna be sure to do that. So, Sableye. I already took out a Bayonet really, really easily. But, uh... Sableye is, should be the last Pokemon, correct? Uh, I'm gonna use Electrode since I already, I'm not gonna use Timmy or anything. I knew that I had a feeling in the back of my noggin that you were gonna freeze me. And that was really annoying. And now I have to go up against this thing. Like, why do you have a Sableye? I know there's not, there's just three ghost types, you know? But, you know, there's other generations. You could've used a Ms. Drevis, you should've used a Gengar, you know? There's, there's the two others, and then you'll still have the five. I don't know, I don't understand why you just decided to just have three and two doubles, you know? Uh, I'm just gonna use Shockwave. This is the reasoning why I have Electrode out here, so he can't just double team. But uh, yeah, the moves are Faint Attack, Shadow Ball, Psychic, Attract. And uh, instead of Psychic and Attract, it has Nightshade and Double Team. So we're gonna go Shockwave yet again. I'm not risking the miss. So sorry if you hear the beeps outside, Just I guess that's the car alarm or something like that. I don't know what kind of car alarm was that, but regardless, uh, Sableye's level 50. This is the last Pokemon. Could someone just please save their ace for last? Like, I would like that very, very much. Uh, let's go for one more Shockwave to take care of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this should kill. This should kill. This is going really, really smoothly for everything. <laughs> I can't really say much about the future though, but uh, yeah, that is it for Elite Four member Phoebe. Oh darn, I got and lost. All right. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. Ho oh. ho. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where the last sound came from, but we're gonna have the full restore up. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna have to restart my timer because I feel like the next match is gonna be really, really freaking problematic. So I'm gonna be right back in just a little bit. It's literally gonna take a second long right after I heal my Pokemon. So instead of uh, using that, let me use Hyper Potions instead. I don't wanna waste all my full restores. To be honest, I shouldn't be using Hyper Potions anyway right now. I should be using the Super Potions in between battles. But yeah, be right back. Alright, so I'm already back. I just wanted to break that away because this trainer coming up... 
could end Nuzlocke. This trainer is so dang dangerous, and not because of her other Pokemon, but this is Glacia. She is the Ice type Elite Four member, as you can see. Uh, the Pokemon I'm gonna go start off with first. I think the Pokemon leads are different, so I think Kecleon's fine. I sure hope so, because it's a bit confusing uh, to the sources I read. But here we go. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. Oh Monarch, I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. Oh Monarch, what about you? It would please me to know when if I could go all out against you. Man, if you weren't so cheap, I... Uh, I, 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 I. So like I said, in the Ruby and Sapphire version, I believe she starts with a uh, different Pokemon in the Emerald version, yeah. So she starts out with the Celio instead of the other following Pokemon. I'm not going to spoil it, but the reason I chose Garrison is because I don't really have a counter to this thing, but I do have a fighting move. And I just realized I forgot to give Swampert Earthquake. I'll be sure to do that when I can, so let's just go Brick Break this thing. It's gotta go hail. Oh, I didn't even say the moves. Surf, ice, ball, hail, and body slam. And in the Emerald version, instead of. I believe. Body slam, is it? Is Encore. It still has Surf. I don't know why I didn't check it. Wait. No, 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 no. Wait. Surf, ice, ice, ball, hail, body slam. And then they just have Encore and body slam. So I don't know why the heck I changed that. It's the same thing either way. So yeah, there's the body slam right there. So I'm still a normal type, but I wish I could get a little stab behind this brick break. And it's a crit! Nice, 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 nice. Alright, we took care of Celio. And uh, trying to see what's the next Pokemon. What's the next Pokemon? Yeah, Glalie. Okay, so this was supposed to be originally the Lee. Uh... Hopefully it's the correct one, because if it's not the other one, Wendy might go down. And I'll tell you guys in a second why. So, uh, yeah, there's Glalie, and like I said before, the Hoenn uh, type of thing. Uh, this Glalie, well, in the Ruby and Sapphire, it has Hail, Ice Beam, Light Screen, and Crunch. And in the Emerald version, it just has Icy Wind instead of Hail, because it's not the lead Pokemon. I'm going to just flamethrower you. I mean, a lot of people complain that Glalie just have uh, the stats throughout the board, but because of that, it could tank hits. You know, the special defense, I believe, is like 90 or 80 or something like that. It's not bad, you know, considering the speed. Like, minimum speed is considered to be 90. You know, 100 are considered fast Pokemon. So, there's the heal. Hopefully, you don't heal. Please don't. It's gonna heal. Oh, I thought you were gonna switch Pokemon for a second, I was about to say, because there was that moment where it just paused, and I just thought, like, I was expecting Glalie to shrink and just go back. So if I could get a crit or a burn, that'd be nice. Uh, oh! I'm pretty sure this is the Glalie I'm thinking of. So, let's just go for a quick attack. And there we go. It, it probably didn't matter. I outspeed her as it is. But yeah, 2002 experience. Oh my gosh. War Rain? You're really gonna go? This is her ace Pokemon, by the way. Why? I have to go all out against this thing because Jimmy is my answer to this thing. As you already saw, there was the Cilio. And here's Jimmy right here. Oh my gosh. Please, please, please kill this thing. Level 53. Uh, so, this Warrain is the Nuzlocke killer of the Elite Four. It has Blizzard, Surf, Body Slam, and Sheer Cold. In the Emerald version, instead of Blizzard, it's Ice Beam, so it's just a little bit more accuracy. But regardless, if the hill was up, Blizzard would be 100% accurate. Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO move. If it outlevels you, just like how it outlevels me right now, it could sweep your team, even though it has five usage of the move. It could kill most of your team with Sheer Cold, and there's Nuzlocke's that ended because of Sheer Cold. This lady, Glacia, is the true teacher of Winter Harshness. You know, forget about Price, it's Glacia that's the true definition of Winter Harshness right here. 
definitely. So please don't sheer cold me. Oh my gosh, I was about to flip the heck out. That did a lot of damage. And Citrus Berry. I don't think Thunderbolt's gonna kill. It should. Please, please. It's a it's a roll. Please do not go low roll. Please. Oh my gosh, that was a stress off my back. I, I bet people aren't are thinking like, what's the big deal? No, you don't understand. She could sheer cold more than half of your team. Even though it's inaccurate, as long as it outlevels you, it's pretty much a guaranteed hit. So Celio's the next Pokemon. It's the second Celio. Uh, for the second Celio, I am gonna use Swampert. So I wish I had Earthquake, but my idiot self forgot to do that. So, yeah, I got no choice but to just try. I'm gonna have to much shot you to death. So, this is the second Celio, correct? So, it has the moves Dive, Blizzard, Hail as well, and Attract. And instead of Dive, I believe, is Double Edge in the Emerald version. So, I'm just gonna have to much shot you to death because I'm so dumb. I should have got Earthquake, and I didn't. And now I just have to watch this damage go slowly. So, since it has the hail up, now it can hit blizzards non-stop, but it's completely fine. Why is there no regular snowing in the Pokemon games? Why is it just hail? I don't consider hail to be snow. Why isn't there no snowy weather? That'd be pretty cool, right? You know, it'd be just sandstorm except white. I don't feel like it'll be hard. Like, if you could just replace the color with sandstorm, you could just do it as easily. I'm not really too scared about the blizzard. It shouldn't do all that much. As long as you don't freeze me, I should be fine. But yeah, Wobbuffet, I believe, is the one that got out of this match. So, I'll do what I can to try to take you out. One more match I should do it, but um, I'm assuming... And you're gonna miss... Wait, what? Huh? How did you miss? The freaking blizzards up! The freaking the freaking hail! How did you miss Blizzard? What? A critical hit. What's going on? Wait a Wait, is it the mud shot that's doing that? I thought it just reduces speed. Isn't that I could swear it was this game. See, it just says drop speed. How did it not... How did it miss? I'm so confused. Oh, my lord. Oh, and the hill stop. Here, yeah, get some. <laughs> Yo, fat blubber. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's a critical hit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What the heck? And now uh, it's the second Glalie. So this is her last Pokemon. And for this, it's Skarmory. The reason I chose Skarmory for the second Glalie instead of the first one is because this Glalie has something special for Fire-type Pokemon like Windy. So, it has Hail, it has Ice Beam, it has Shadow Ball, but it does not have Crunch. It has instead Explosion. Actually, hang on, I think I messed that up. Uh, Hail, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Crunch? I don't know. Regardless, it has explosion. I'm just gonna go steel wing this thing. If it chooses to explode, then I should live it. But if Wendy was on front, and you already saw it was a two-hit KO, if it exploded, it's a pretty much guaranteed hit. Because if you don't know, self-destruct and explosion is 250 base powered, and it halves your defense. So it doesn't matter how much defense you have. If it halves that, most likely you're going down. Especially if it outlevels you. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna miss. All right, that's cool. I don't think I could live this hit, so I'm probably gonna have to max potion. So let's go use the max potion. Uh, I I still don't understand why it missed like the blizzard when it's hail. I could swear did it did they change it or something? I wish I outsped. I'm just gonna go for it. Steel Wing. Oh, please live. Please, please, please live. I. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, come the heck on. Are you serious? 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to use Wobbuffet, because I said if one Pokemon goes down, then unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go um and go against this guy. So, based on the moves, it has Ice Beam and Shadow Ball, so I guess I might as well Mirror Coat. So, I'm sorry if you hear that, I guess that's the car alarm yet again, I don't know if it's the same person who's trying to go in the car or something like that. Ice Beam, Mirror Coat, alright, there we go, thank you, Timmy, I thought I was gonna struggle on that and you are gonna... Just hail non-stop or some bull. But yeah, there we go. We defeated the third Elite Four member, which is Glacia. And there we go. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn. Oh, Monarch, the all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. So there we go. Alright, we got one more Elite Four member. Advance to the next room, and there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. I'm so glad I didn't get sheer colded once, because that would have ended my life completely. So, I'm gonna go do this. I definitely need a full restore Swampert. Uh, I'm gonna revive Kenny in a little bit, so hang on, just, just a second. I had a feeling this episode might be 45 minutes, and I was kind of correct. Uh, let's go with Super Potions instead. I need to waste those a little bit more, because I'm not going to be using them. I got 16 of them, so I'm able to do that. And let's go for a Super Potion on you. And I'm just going to go for a Revive. I'll use a Max Revive once I feel like I'm in trouble. Other than that, I'm not going to do that yet. So, yeah. One more Elite Four member to go for this Finale Part 1. Oh my gosh, are you hyped for this, guys? And I, I feel hyped, personally, because well, I'm the one doing it. I'm sure if you feel hyped about this, be sure to smash on that like button. I don't normally like to say this in the middle of the episode, but advancing to the next room is the final Elite Four member, and his name is Drake. And he is the Dragon-type user Elite Four member. So, we already did an Archie voice, and I don't really want to replicate that, even though I just did the old Monarch voice, and I did that to a couple of random girl characters. So, uh... Let me try Nappa's voice, because I know that's pretty popular out here. So, first off, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, I already did that. But I need to teach Earthquake. Even though it's not gonna be really recommended for this battle, I still need to teach Earthquake nonetheless. So, Earthquake, even though he learns at level 52, I really can't wait for that. So, yeah. I don't know why the freaking... Ugh, I don't know. Mudshot! Alright, one, two, and poof. And there we go. We're gonna go learn Earthquake. So, let's go do this thing. Hey, Vegeta! I'm the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four. Drake! The Dragon Master Vegeta. Vegeta. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times, they hinder us. At times, they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes, Vegeta? Vegeta. Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me, Vegeta. And there we go, is Stan versus the final Elite Four member, Drake. Let's go do this thing. So I decided to start... I decided to start with Wobbuffet, so um, I could go against this first Pokemon, which is Shelgon. In the Ruby and Sapphire version, it learns Dragon Claw, Rock Tomb, Protect, and Crunch. And instead of Crunch, it has Double Edge. Uh, so I just realized I started with the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> I started with the wrong Pokemon. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Actually, it does matter. You know what? I'm gonna switch it to him right now. Is Kenny supposed to be out here? It probably would have just protected anyway. This whole thing. Yeah, there we go. All right. So Kenny was supposed to be out here because I was debating to have Wobbuffet out front. I was debating to have Wobbuffet out front, but I decided against that because Kenny kind of fits it better. So I'm just gonna go Toxic this. It's gonna protect again. Why? I don't know. So yeah, I don't know why the car keeps on 
having a car alarm, so I do apologize if you keep hearing that. They should really fix that or something, but either way, Shogun, I already said the moves. I thought I did it for a second, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's going to drop my speed, which is it's fine, I guess. I'm just going to fly. Whether you protect, it doesn't really matter. You're going to, it's your funeral. I'm still flying up and hitting you the next turn. And this is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. So, yeah, we're going to go fly against you and you're going to Dragon Claw. I'm resistant on that. It's better you to just rock to me to death. So, uh, I am going to steal wing you. For the reasoning that, well, one, you didn't protect for whatever reason. And two, I don't want to, I don't want you to full restore. I really, really don't. So, I might as well just take you out now. So, Kecleon in this battle will not participate uh, instead of Wobbuffet. Like I said, Wobbuffet and Kecleon are transitioning back and forth because those are the ones that really, you know, really is the one. But this is the Pokemon that Wobbuffet should be going after because this is Flygon. It has the moves Flamethrower, Crunch, Sand... Uh, what was that? Sandstorm? Why did I couldn't read that? And Dragon Breath. It actually has another Flygon, but it's only in the Ruby and Sapphire version. They changed it in Emerald version. And the second Flygon has the moves Fly, Dig, Sandstorm, and uh, Dragon Breath as well. But in this game, uh, it has the moves Flamethrower, Crunch, Dragon Breath, and Earthquake. So I don't know if it just Earthquake. It, it, it just did, okay. So I probably should have... Uh, did a different move. It's doing a lot of damage actually. Oh my gosh, could you not? Alright, let's go for a max potion. I got no choice. Uh, alright. Uh, let's go. Okay, he's gonna go for a crunch. I. I'm gonna continue going for a uh, mirror coat. I don't feel like I'm gonna make it. Oh my gosh. Crunch. Okay, good, good, good. Dark type is a special typing, a special move in this game. And this is gonna do insane amount of damage to this. And this is why Timmy's in the team, dang it. This is why Timmy's in the team. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, that did so much damage. Was that like a straight up one hit KO? Oh my gosh. And now it's gonna go for his ace Pokemon. Another Elite Four member going straight for the ace Pokemon. And I have Cartman out here with the moves Ice Beam. So, Salamence has the moves Flamethrower, Dragon Claw, Crunch, and Fly. And instead of Fly, it has Rock Slide. And of course, this Ace Pokemon also has a Citrus Berry. So it's level 55. It really doesn't matter if you intimidate me, sir. This should one-hit KO you. Because if a Gengar could one-hit KO you with an Icy Wind, I don't see why a Swampert shouldn't one-hit KO you with an Ice Beam. Ah? Huh? It doesn't matter what level I am, as long as I'm like... Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> I really wanted to see a regular hit, but oh well. We completely destroyed him. Level 49. Alright. And the next Pokemon's Altaria. And I have an Altaria check. Just realizing this in the past couple of episodes, in episodes 62 and 63, that Wendy here always whittles this thing down. So, this is a good check, you know? Kind of, you know, whatever. As long as I, I don't do that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Altaria has the moves. Take down, Dragon Breath, Dragon Dance, and Refresh. Instead of Take Down and Refresh, though, in the Emerald version, it has the moves Double Edge, Aerial Ace, and that's it. Okay, so yeah. Instead of Take Down's Double Edge, they upgrade it, and uh, Refresh, instead of that, is, like I said, is Aerial Ace. So, burning it helps it from not getting that Dragon Dance, essentially. It's just faster than me is the only problem. I'm gonna Flamethrower you. I'm gonna overheat you once I feel I'm comfortable by doing that, based upon the damage I'm gonna give it. So if it's under half, I might overheat it. I might overheat it. That didn't do jack, so never mind. Scratch what I'm gonna do. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, uh, double, double Edge and Aerial Ace are the main moves that it could really hinder, uh, you know, really, really get back from the from from the Dragon Dance. If he full restores, I might be in trouble because he's gonna outspeed me, 
and that might be a problem, so... I think this is the best time to overheat. Never mind, here, get a full restore. Please, please, please overheat, burn. I need this thing to burn. I probably should have uh, gave the white herb to him. That didn't do jack, it wouldn't have killed anyway. And my special tech harshly fell. Okay, so this is gonna hurt. Double edge. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I didn't think so. I'm sorry, Wendy, you were my check. If only... It was that orange health. So, Garrison, you're gonna have to go out here. And take you out. I am gonna go for a... Oh, if only... I wanna use Iron Toe. I'm gonna go for a strength. Just seeing that you get a double edge. Uh, as long as I take this, he should... Or not... That was a crit! Are you kidding me, man? Oh. Alright. Uh, so, Pokemon that I already use is Swampert and Kenny. So let me use Kenny, because he can't touch me anymore. Dragon Breath is resisted and all that type of stuff, so let's just go for Steel Wing. Ugh, it's still gonna hurt a little bit because he did have like two Dragon Dances up or something. So, Steel Wing. And there we go. Oh, uh, oh god. Please don't. He's gonna use another full restore, are you kidding me? No! Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I should go to Swampert. Oh god. Okay, let me Toxic. He shouldn't... Oh, he's got a Dragon Dance again. Okay, so if I go for Toxic, as long... I, I need to heal Kenny, first off. Because he could take these hits. Alright, so... It's gonna be Poison, and I'm gonna go for a solid for Restore. Oh, please don't. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, he's gonna go for another Dragon Dance. Okay. You're trying to one-hit KO my Kenny. I see you. I'm gonna go Fly. So I could uh, take another hit. See, that's another reason why I decided to put Toxic. It's because the Fly also kind of counts as a... As a... Are you Max? Are you maxed out now? You're trying to talk about Mamas! I see you! Alright, so let me go for... Okay, you're gonna do that. And... One more... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now you're taken out. And one more Pokemon, it's Kingdra. And this is the Pokemon that replaced... Altaria, or not Altaria, sorry, Flygon. And Kingdra has the moves Smug Screen, Dragon Dance, Surf, and Body Slam. So it smug screens all the freaking time, but I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt. I should go for a Light Screen, but I'd rather go for damage because I feel like you're just gonna smug screen like an annoying punk. You're gonna Dragon Dance. What Dragon Dance just benefits is just the Body Slam in general, so. Uh, it really doesn't matter if I go for a light screen, you're gonna go for a smoke screen. Alright, I see you. Let me- oh, okay, it's gonna- it's gonna go through already. Okay, let's go for a freaking shockwave then. I need couple crits. Last time, Aresto Cheslo set with the double teams and stuff really, really annoyed the heck out of me. But you don't have that no longer. So, body slam. If I had Reflect, that would be good. Oh god, that is so much damage. Oh my gosh. If... If you get paralyzed, that'd be nice. I don't outspeed you. And I don't see a point for healing, so I'm just gonna Shockwave. You're gonna Surf. I'm probably dead because these computers know how much... Oh, it's a crit anyway. These computers usually know how much damage it needs for another move. So they, they find a reason to take you out a different way. So, Kenny should take this Body Slam hits. It really doesn't matter what you do at this point. I'm gonna go Air Cutter. Please don't freaking go for a full restore or something. We should take it out. Or maybe not. You know, that's completely fine too. Oh, wait a second. I should have. Mm, I should have healed. I should have healed. Uh, let's go for a Swamper. My Pokemon are completely dead. I didn't even realize. Uh, shoot. Ice Beam. Okay, it's gonna go for a smoke screen. 
Please hit this ice beam! For the love of God, please! Yes! Oh, I was so nervous, because I didn't want to start reviving Pokemon. That is it for the final E4 member, Drake. And uh, we did it! And so, yeah! Vegeta Super, this should be said. And we got that much money, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Vegeta, you deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a, bit, a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong, Vegeta. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. And we're going to save that in the following after the next episode. Because in the next episode, we're going to go do Pokemon Ruby version. Because if you notice the trend, it was Sapphire and then another Sapphire. So people are like, what the heck happened to Ruby version? Well, in Finale Part 2, you will see, because I have a reasoning for this. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, we're going to do Pokemon Ruby version. And that would be it. And then after that, well, even though I just said that would be it, that other part will be the main finale. So, join the White Tigers and Dragons and White Tigers and Dragons to you.